Chris Spiker for AV Nice. We're at the AV Fairgrounds on Avenue H in the freeway, and we're in the Antelope Valley Rural History Museum. The humble beginnings, and the grand marshal of this year's fair parade, and our, our favorite guy, Bill Rawlings, is here. <laughs> the president of the museum? President, chairman, same thing, yes. All of the above. So, And we're in the exhibit that uh, was on display during the fair. Yes. And it's open today because today's the flea market, the chamber flea market. So people are coming by and checking it out. And what's the story you're telling here? Well, we're telling the entire story of the history of Antelope Valley. And behind us is the timeline, which begins with the Indians, ends in the future. With the exhibit from NASA. So we're a co-op museum. The Indian Museum has done a, a display for us, as has the Edwards Air Force Base Museum and NASA. And the City of Lancaster Museum has done some for us in the past. Wow. So we, our timeline is, is endless. Yeah. Obviously it never will end because yeah. the future will the never future. quite be here. But uh, there will be just endless numbers of branches on this timeline. We're going to honor, honor the past. Uh, this year we, we came up with a new Pioneer Wall. It's in its infancy. We've been contacting families from Antelope Valley and, and we want to know about their ancestors and the people that created this great and wonderful valley. Right. Everything from agriculture as the real roots and uh, aerospace, the two main things. Uh, it all began probably when the railroad got here. That's, that's the railroad when, came when to things, town. When things started popping, but before that, there were the Vaqueros. And so we're going to tell all those stories. It's just, there's just thousands of great stories about great people in Elk Valley, and we intend to tell everyone we can. I think it's fascinating how you incorporate the different stories and some of the different groups and museums. And then what are the plans, uh, the building plans for the future? Well, as you know, last night we had our fundraiser. Uh, we're in partnership with the Antelope Valley Fair. We are also a committee of the Antelope Valley Fair. We won Committee of the Year this year, by the wow. way. Wow. This inaugural award. Congratulations. But uh, just uh, just south of here, about 100 yards, uh, the land has already been promised to us. And we've also been told we will have almost, I won't say unlimited room to grow, but we have much room to grow. And so we're going to begin with a 10,000 square foot building. We started our fundraising this year, just in the last few months. We're, we're doing excellent with that. Uh, one of our members, uh, David Pickus and Lucy Pickus, issued the Pickus Challenge. I saw that challenge. It was uh, kind of a play on words. Their name is Pickus, and they want you to pick us. So the uh, Pickus Challenge was challenging the businesses of Antelope Valley to come up with thousand uh, dollars or more. So uh, last night we were presented with a check from Rio Tinto Borax for ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, and, and one of the Pioneer families jumped up and, and one of wrote the another check. Absolutely, the Godie family came forward, and in the during the fair we actually had quite a few people step up and sign up and, and uh, join the Pickus Challenge. So we've demonstrated to the fair that the community wants this museum, and uh, we need the community to come forward community needs us to be here and that's sort of the bottom line our roots we began with the Rural Olympics Hall of Fame because the Rural Olympics Committee we we just thought well we'll start the museum with what we know yeah and uh, we wanted to save the Rural Olympics from extinction and if it was going to go away uh, they weren't going to forget us so uh, that's what this is every year we've inducted members into our mu uh, museum and then these are quite a few Pioneers are, are really honored on these walls here. Each wall is one year's inductees. As of this year, we've inducted 45 people. Wow. That's a wonderful history. So natural history, but you're including the future. Absolutely. So it's, it's a museum that has a lot of relevance. And I, well, I hope so. And there should be something here for everyone. Uh, the other half of the museum is invest in the future. Right. And so we've we've had a scholarship program. We've awarded three thousand dollars so far from our museum, but we're responsible for another fifty-four hundred dollars, where we've gone out and got people to match it, where we passed the hat for scholarships and got donations for that. And then our target audience, or if you will, visitor target, is the third-grade students from Antelope Valley Schools. We want to bring every single one of them here. 
because the state Fantastic. of Cali yeah. the state of California it's in their curriculum third yeah. graders are to study local history wow to prepare them to learn about state history and then, then world history. So this could save the school districts a lot of money because now they have a facility to come to we'll be We'll be the go-to place. And we are going to have a research library and uh, uh, some sort of a, a theater and, um, and a meeting room uh, to accommodate some of the historical societies uh, that yeah. might want to have meetings yeah. there and groups like the Antelope Valley Antique Automobile Club. Yep. They're restoring one of our vehicles. Yep. Uh, we'd like to share our building with them. Right. And, uh, wow. And so. Contact information for the museum? Contact information. You can always find out about us on our, our website, avmuseum.org. Uh, you can email us at avmuseum at verizon.net. Uh, you can always call the fairgrounds, 948-6060. And just ask for the operator, and she can give you some contact information if it changes. Our, our address is the fairgrounds. I believe it's 2551 West Avenue West, H. Correct. Suite 102. 93536. <laughs> Something on that order. Mm -hmm. so. Well, you know, we're going to kind of walk around and uh, take a look at the exhibits. Enjoy. And uh, maybe we'll find uh, one of your other volunteers to chat with a little bit oh yeah you you, you bet you they're anxious to talk about stuff bill rawlings president of av rural museum etc etc thank you thank you sir you bet it's a 53 ford tractor we're out here in front of the uh, antelope valley rural museum and today they're starting to sell chances on buying this beautiful tractor. It runs! Isn't that cool? This would look good in uh, in my front yard, actually. It's a piece of Antelope Valley history. 1953 Ford tractor. Beautiful. I was told this a hundred times. I got the distributor in the front. Three for five bucks tickets on this beautiful tractor. Starting today here at the Lancaster Chamber Flea Market. They're going to be selling for the next couple of months as a fundraiser for the Antelope Valley. One year. They're going to be selling for the next year as a fundraiser for the Antelope Valley Rural Museum. Chris Spiker, right in front of the Antelope Valley Rural Museum for AV Nice.